Locally, the San Diego City Attorney's Office says it is working hard to prevent a tragedy from happening here. New data release shows last month the office issued 18 gun violence restraining orders, which prohibit someone from owning or having a firearm. The city attorney showed some examples today and told CBS 8 Shannon Handy how well they work. In one of those 18 cases, a man got into a trolley here downtown and pointed a gun at several passengers. City Attorney Mar Elliott wants to encourage the public to report these types of incidents, saying doing so has and can save lives. We're convinced that we have intervened in many potential tragic scenarios. San Diego City Attorney Mar Elliott says her office has been issuing gun violence restraining orders for five years, but in light of recent mass shootings, she's becoming more vocal about it in hopes of preventing a similar tragedy from happening here. Gun violence is real and we need people to be calling us and letting us check it out. We don't want to read about our community in the newspaper. California is one of 19 states that have red flag laws, which are designed to stop violence before it happens. And just today, a bill was introduced to form a federal grant program to help other states do the same. Specifically, a gun violence restraining order can be used in cases where someone threatens to harm themselves or others. Once issued, that person's guns are confiscated. Regardless of whether or not they have any, the order also prohibits them from buying one. The order is good for 21 days, at which point a judge decides if it gets extended. The maximum is five years, and if we're at the five-year point and that individual still has not addressed that underlying concern, we will ask for an additional up to five-year gun violence restraining order, and so on and so on. Two of the 18 orders Elliott's office issued in January involve someone who threatened to kill three or more people. In one of those cases, an emergency room patient who didn't want to be admitted to the hospital became agitated and yelled, I'm going to go buy a gun and come back and shoot 10 people. Elliot says her office also sees a number of intimate partner violence incidents. About a third of our cases will be associated with that. About a third of the cases we're seeing have to do with the potential for a suicide. And then the others have to do with workplace violence, community violence, um, mental health crisis. Gun violence restraining orders are public records, so anybody can access the information at the downtown Superior Courthouse. As for how to get one issued, Elliot says there has to be clear and convincing evidence of a threat. That can include statements made publicly, including social media posts. We know when something doesn't feel right, and those are the calls that need to be made. If you'd like more information on gun violence restraining orders, just log on to CBS8.com and click on this story. Reporting for CBS8, I'm Shannon Handy.